Hey guys, so quick update. I'm not really sure like what I have, you know, I've just been like so nervous about it. But um so like the other day like I woke up just feeling so tired and so exhausted and then like I ended up falling asleep for like several hours. Like I never take naps and then like I woke up with like a fever and just coughing really really bad everything just hit me out of nowhere and i was trying to take um some medicine like cold flu medicine to maybe get my fever to go down in the coughing to stop but it really hasn't stopped so yeah <clears throat> i made an appointment tomorrow to go get tested for covid19 because you're better safe than sorry you know, like, I currently reside in, um, Tallahassee, and, um, to get tested for COVID-19, you have to call ahead and make an appointment. <clears throat> I'm trying so hard not to cough in this video, but it's really hard not to. Um, again, I feel like it's really important for me to go get tested because I live in, like, a community-style home, and typically, you know, during, like, the fall, like, I'd be living with 20 other girls, but I'm gonna be living with 10 other girls this summer, and, you know, I want to make sure that I keep myself safe as well as everyone else that I'm living with. I don't want to, like, infect anyone else if I do have something, so that's why I feel like it's really important for me to go get tested, especially because, like, the symptoms and stuff just came really out of nowhere honestly i feel like a big reason why this virus is so deadly is that people are listening to a lot of misinformation out there and especially younger people might have this idea that they can't get sick from it or it's not going to impact them well it does and it impacts the people around you so make sure you be safe and you listen to all of these social distancing guidelines and staying indoors wearing masks when you can and just avoiding large crowds because it is serious it has if i'm not mistaken from what the cdc says an incubation day between 2 to 14 days so you can go that long without knowing that you have it before you even show symptoms so it's really serious so please 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 listen and stay safe you know i'm honestly really nervous about getting tested just because it is not the most pleasant test it's a throat swab if i'm not mistaken but the throat swab goes in through your nose to your throat <sighs> yeah so i'm not really looking forward to that but again it's better safe than sorry um hopefully you know i only have like a little cold or flu and hopefully it's not corona but again better safe than sorry especially you know since i am like showing what would be considered some mild symptoms of it so we'll see how that goes for those of you who don't know me, I'm majoring in behavioral neuroscience and public health on a pre-medical track, so I'm very, like, health-minded. Um, ever since I started not feeling well, I started tracking my fever and my symptoms on an hourly basis, tracking, um, what medication that I've currently been taking to try to see if I can reduce, um, my fever or some of my other symptoms. So, yeah, we'll see how all of that turns out only the test will be able to tell <sighs> so update fever has just not wanted to subside like i've been i've had like a fever of 101 just persistently for what the past 24 hours now so i have just been pretty miserable nothing seems to make it go away like nothing at all and you know i want to be careful and not take too many medications that might make myself more sick so i've just been trying to stay hydrated um have eaten some soup because i literally just have 
no appetite whatsoever and you know like i've had the flu before when i had the flu i couldn't hold down anything that i've eaten but luckily you know i've eaten some soup and things like that hopefully i start feeling better soon so see y'all once i get the test you know what well, honestly on a positive note having to self-isolate like this has given me time to watch one piece from the beginning so we'll see how that goes um who knows maybe i'll be able to finish it by the end of the summer we'll see how that goes uh i'm looking so rough but today is a day that i go get tested and just to be sure um my fever actually finally kind of went down but you know better safe than sorry because i know that some people get like a mild case some people are asymptomatic and again everything just came out of nowhere so one of my housemates is going to take me to do drive through testing so get tested wish me luck okay so i just got back from getting tested i didn't like want to record the whole thing because you know those other people um there don't want to invade no one else's privacy um i was kind of nervous honestly but like everyone there was just like so friendly it was so organized <clears throat> for those who do not know i go to fsu so you know i stay in tallahassee and the testing center was in famu stadium and everybody there was like really nice it was just so organized it was a little intimidating because you know you see like army people there and you're just like oh wow this is serious but everyone was just so friendly and the tests were being conducted by a community health center and it wasn't that bad it wasn't the crazy nose to throat swab it was just like a regular strep throat swab and yeah everyone was really nice and i should be getting my results no later than five days experience like overall was not that bad i mean it's kind of like scary especially like not knowing if you have like this crazy virus and disease that's just taking out so many people but that's why you know i think it's important whoever you are to get tested especially you know if the testing is free i um had made an appointment and called in but they were just letting people like walk up and get tested and everybody there was just like really nice it was very organized um they gave me this little bag of goodies afterwards with just some more information um and what to do like following up depending on my test results so while i wait for my test results like i just wanted to say y'all please be mindful you know follow cdc guidelines with social distancing you know wear proper ppe you know if you have that available to you if you're not feeling well self-isolate because not only you know are you putting yourself at risk you're putting other people at risk who might be immunocompromised and might have other underlying health issues so you know it's not just about you it's about the other people who are around you um hopefully you know i just had a little cold or something nothing too serious but again you are much better safe than sorry so update i still haven't received my test results so i'm just gonna like wait for the next few days or if anything i'm gonna give them a call because they gave me a phone number to call if i don't hear back from them so hopefully we'll be finding out soon so update still haven't received my test results however i did call them today and they said my results were pending and that they actually are available to call over the weekend so i'm probably gonna call them again tomorrow if i don't get a call back um today so we'll see how it goes but um as you guys probably might be able to tell i am feeling a lot better um no more fever no sore throat no nothing just been like pretty tired but i'm feeling great so i think it really just could have been like a little cold a little bad upper respiratory 
but you know still want to know my results just to be in the clear because i know like some people have just mild cases but i'm just so happy i'm feeling better and just in time for my classes to start again y'all like i'm literally shaking like i tested positive for covid like this is just so crazy because like i feel great right now like my whole just like i don't even know what to do like because it, it's just it's crazy like and they said that you know because i was so young that i probably had a mild case which is why you know i have like the little fever and everything and got over it but i'm just like like i don't even know what to do or say right now like this is so crazy so all of this has just been so crazy um the minute that i found out that i tested positive i had to you know call like the head of like the house that i live in they locked everything down so i can't leave my room until may 22nd so yeah that's been crazy um something kind of funny is like i have a feeding schedule <laughs> you know where the people in my house you know making food and, and just put it in front of my door and i um pick it up when they bring it just so we can avoid transmitting anything to other people um everyone else in my house is getting tested so we'll see if anyone else um tests positive um yeah this has just been so crazy everybody so day two of isolation you know it's better again safe than sorry even though you know i'm not showing symptoms a lot of younger people for some reason seem to be asymptomatic and spreading it it's been really crazy because you know our whole house just everyone's routine honestly got um changed up because of this i think that's my food okay so that was my food so yeah i basically get food delivered to me during certain times of the day while well, i love throwing my finger in the camera but yeah um this has still just been like a shock like i, I don't think like i fully processed it but you know the good thing is that you know like i'm feeling good and it was crazy when i talked to the doctor on the phone because i was like you know i feel great now and she was like yeah you know please tell me you know how are you feeling and i'm like i'm great you know when when i was sick i was sick you know i had like a, a fever you know and i was tracking everything um in my phone and we had like a fever for like 72 hours and then afterwards you know i was fine so it's just crazy um i'm just happy that you know my case was only a mild case but again still better safe than sorry so we'll see how my routine goes um throughout this isolation and i'll keep y'all posted so an isolation update um the only other symptom that i've started to have is just like some minor kind of like chest pain like it's so weird it's like a weird feeling um it's like i don't know if it's the anxiety or like the covid but it's kind of like i can breathe you know i can breathe deeply it doesn't hurt when i'm you know breathing it's just kind of like there and um it feels kind of like like a warm hot tingly feeling you know in my chest you know lungs throat or whatever so yeah it's pretty tough being in isolation especially me being somebody who's like active and you know i was thinking about working out but i was like i don't want to you know push myself um too much while i'm just sitting in the room and maybe possibly make myself sicker other than that it's just been tough you know like you don't realize how much you know you really like being around people because it's like me i'm an introvert but it's kind of like 
my only interaction with people has really been over the phone and I've just been trying to find different things to do with my time you know reading coloring books but it's just really hard especially being a person who you know I'm extremely active like it was crazy and that morning I was planning on going for a walk you know around my campus and then I got the news and I was like wow you know I gotta be isolated for 14 days so it's definitely been a lot um I know it's definitely a lot for the other girls in my house as well because you know they're not allowed to leave the house either so it's just been a really difficult situation so like I think oh my goodness I'm so emotional like I just kind of like went through like a like a little mini panic attack it's just been really difficult um like processing everything and like being like isolated in my room and then it's like you know just the whole situation is so crazy um but um you know like I start crying and you know like my housemates and stuff you know they calm me down um one of them oh my gosh she's like a freaking angel was gonna go make me some tea and bring it to my door you know she walked me through some breathing techniques and you know she facetimed me and calmed me down but um honestly like i don't know how i'm looking through this without their help and their support i think the hardest part is you know you're just like trying to you know like be positive and like put on a good front and you know be like yes you know like my situation is just you know so much better than so many other people you know in the world right now and there's like so much for me to um be grateful for but it's just you know the situation comes with a lot of anxiety and a lot of uncharted territory you know i'm just i'm grateful that you know i'm alive and i'm well you know like it could be so much worse but i'm just trying to focus on the positive but it is just it's scary it's so scary you know like i think another big thing that's contributed to my anxiety is like you see so many cases of people like oh you know they were fine and then all of a sudden like it came back or you know it was never really gone and like it getting really serious so it just that causes a lot of anxiety for me and you know i just want to get better and stay better and you know not have to experience and that you know it's like you get so frustrated because you're like you know you follow all the rules and all the guidelines and it's kind of like like why me like why why did i get sick you know i wear the mask wash my hands social distance but it's still like me you know and that's a really hard pill to swallow hey guys so if you made it to this part of the video um you reached the end you've seen everything that i've been going through thus far um i wasn't really sure if i was gonna um share my story just because it's so personal and it's really scary and the other day was really rough for me i was just like crying and panicking and luckily you know i'm so grateful to be in an environment where the people who are around me you know, were able to calm me down and support me the best they can, you know, with the social distancing. So yeah, it's been really tough and I'm going to continue kind of like vlogging and sharing my experience in isolation. On Monday, I start my new summer classes, so hopefully that will also help keep me occupied, but it's been pretty rough. Um, you know, another thing for me that's been really scary is just a lot of the fear with this. And luckily, you know, I am younger, you know, I'm a lot healthier and, you know, more fortunate than most people who contract the virus. Um, 
hopefully, you know, I think it's probably left my system by now, which is why, you know, I'm like sitting here and I'm, you know, I'm able to talk, but it's been pretty scary, you know, but I feel like moving forward and sharing my story, it's important to raise awareness about, you know, what's going on. You can follow all of the rules and do everything they tell you to do, but you know if you're not around maybe like other people who are like following those same guidelines it's not going to work um i'm living proof that younger people can get it too we are not immune i i always knew we weren't you know but it's still really crazy and again um throughout the next few weeks i'm still gonna um move forward with you know making videos and just trying to create a new routine for myself with this isolation and try to you know keep my sanity and keep my calm because that's the only way that you know I'll make sure that I make a full and healthy recovery and don't get other people sick but yeah thank you guys for watching um, I'm gonna continue to share my story and share what I'm doing in isolation so please like and subscribe and Share this with other people, especially those who think that, you know, this virus is a joke and, oh, like, you can't really get it because you're young. No, you can. And it's very scary and it's very serious. And I'll see you guys in the next video.